I think just going to the gym, you know, when I was about six or something, I just remember just going in there, running around and uh, training, and I just uh, enjoyed it. And then we got our gloves on, we done a little bit of like a text bag, got carried away, but it was good, you know what I mean? I, uh, I enjoyed it, I always have, always did. So, I think this is the longest time I've went without out boxing, you know, so I'm really looking forward to getting back in there. Well, obviously, when the fight got cancelled on April the 4th, um, I had a bit of free time on our hands, you know, so with everything going on, uh, Neil closed the gym for a couple of weeks. And just what else was there to do? So um, with everything going on, I just got behind it and started raising money for my local charities, you know, and um, like I said, just doing my bit for the NHS and stuff like that there. So, you know, we're mentally strong. You know, Neil always te tells us all the time, we just got to go on with it. You know, it's uh, life's hard, you know what I mean? Boxing's easy, so. You know, just stay focused, keep listening to Neil, and we um, kept training, you know what I mean? We knew it was going to come up sooner or later. Obviously, it's been a while, but, you know, we haven't lost our focus. You know, we've still got our drive. We know what we want to do and where we want to go. So we just got to keep training hard, keep winning, and, you know, get to where we need to be. We've had a lot of time like this year, you know, with uh, obviously everything getting pushed back all the time. So, like I said, with uh, Neil, he just kept us busy, kept doing his different things, and uh, we've just been learning and growing as a fighter. and. Uh, it's been good, like I said, we've been uh, probably learned a few more things as well because we've had a lot more time to learn on, we're not rushing things, so it's, it's been good in that, them, them kinds of sense. For me, all I've got to do is keep winning. That's, that's my main focus, my main goal. I mean, um, it's up to Neil and my team, MTK, and they're doing their, their side of the business to get that world title shot. I'm happy to take on any of them and fight any of them. Um, I believe I'm good enough to beat any of them, so. But for me, my main focus is just keep winning and keep fighting. I mean, yes, I do what the World Title Shop, but other people's talking about it as well. And I think um, it's been meant to be coming for a long time, so hopefully it does come. You know, again, that side of things, I'll leave it to Neil. You know, Neil watches the opponents and then um, he comes up with the game plan. And I just follow my instructions and concentrate on me and do the best I can do. And then I believe I'm good enough to beat anybody on the night as long as I'm 100% right. Obviously, a good win here will protect it, and like you said, maybe boost it, you know, and uh, maybe get that shot at the title. But um, like I said, for me, it's uh, it doesn't matter who they put in front of me. My focus is just is winning all fights. You know, all of them is a deadline, so we've got to win them all um, to get to where I, I believe I, I want to be and need to be and should be. For me, it's just it's, it's a fight, it's a fight. You know, I think I, I'd, I'd fight anybody anywhere. You know, it's. Um, it's just, I just don't think I've had the maybe exposure other fighters have had and stuff like that there, but um, with a big promoter behind them. But um, I believe that it will all come, it'll all come together. I think everything happens for a reason and everything's just starting to come together nicely now. And I think um, a good win here will, uh, will boost me right up. No, definitely. I mean, when that fight first came up as well, I mean, I was uh, I was happy to go away and then go fighting. You know, spoke to Neil and, you know, Neil was happy with the fight and then. Um, you know, it got us away as well, didn't it? So, um, but no, like I said, for me, I don't mind traveling. Traveling's not really a big issue for me. It's, um, it just comes with part of the job. The, you know, the rings me home, and that's where I like to be. So, I can be going there any, anywhere. You go in there to do your job. You know, you've, you've you know, you, there's you and your opponent, there's referee and judges. So, um, on that behalf, of, but as for the atmosphere and as for the crowds missing out on, on good nights of boxing and being there, and that there, you know, but the full big event, it's, um, it's a shame. And on their behalf, they're missing out on there. You know some fast, fantastic live fights and stuff like that. So it's a little bit bad, but it's going to be a little bit unusual. But you know, like we, we just got to get on with it. You know, it's fighters. I think it's the same for everyone else. So you know, you just got to um, got to keep going until things hopefully go back to normal. As Savannah's fighting for the world title next, um, I believe she'll she'll win that definitely. And like I said, I think um, a couple of good wins for me and Lewis. I think uh, when we fight for our world titles, I think we'll win them. And, I think there'll be three world champions in the northeast without a shadow of a doubt. Cash is a good little fighter, you know. He's uh, tricky, he's awkward, you know. He's um, he's just a good all-around fighter. He's a nice lad as well. Him and his trainer Craig, you know. So um, we got along really well, and sparring is, is really good. It's a classy Thomas Ward, you know. The art of boxing, hitting, not be hitting, and um, come away with a good victory.